Hello everybody. You're back at Aunt Eileen's Story Corner. Welcome. There's a lot of children out there today. Nice to see you all. Let's see if I can find you all. No hiding now. Okay, let's see. I see Camilla. Hi. And Raphael. Nice to see you. Glad you're here. And who's over there? Oh, I see a great threesome. Calvin, Annie, and Liam. Hi. I hope you enjoyed the story today. And who else have we got? We've got Owen. We've got Cleo. We've got Tutu. Hi, Tutu. And oh, from way over across here, I see another fine trio. Ruby, Harry, and Heidi. Hi. And who's over here? Oh, it's Kellen. Hi, Kellen. Nice to see you today. And there's my little grandson, Desmond, who's a little bit afraid of birthday candles. I hope you feel better about it now, Desmond. Don't worry, if mom and dad are there and you see something scary, they're gonna take care of you. Don't worry, don't worry. Desmond was a little afraid of the fire from the birthday candles. Okay, who else is there? Let's see, oh, I see another California boy out there. It's Henry. Hi, Henry. And Henry's cousin Wilder is over here. Hi, Wilder. Nice to see you today. Who else have we got? We've got Callum. We've got Maya. Hi. And Celine and Beatrice. Hi, nice to see you again. And who's over here? It's Kyrie and her dear little brother. Kreider. Hi, Kreider. Is Goo with you today? Hi, Goo. And who's over here? Joey. Very nice friend of mine, Joey. And then we've got Alex and Jacob. Oh, hi. And who else? Who else? Who else? Oh, right over here, I see Emma and Jackson. Hi. And on this side, over in Pennsylvania, I've got Ian and Sean. Hi, nice to see you. Who else is here? Oh, it's Brett. Hi, Brett. You're never too old to love stories, right? Welcome, we're glad you're here. We love children of all ages. Okay, who else have we got? Maisie and Caden, hi. And then Jack, hi Jack. And Capria, nice to see you. So glad you're all here. Wow, I'm, I'm so glad you come to see me today. And what's in our story box? We'll find out after we do our little settling down. Are you ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. And you know what's in my lap, right? You're used to it now. It's the story box. Let's see what's inside. Whoa. I bet some of you already know this story. This story got told so many times and is so loved in my family that it lost its cover. But if I showed you this, would you know what it was? I think our friend Wilder was named after one of the guys in here, our hero Max, because it's called Where the Wild Things Are. You know that one, right? Well, let's have fun and read it together. Where the Wild Things Are. Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another, his mother called him Wild Thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. 
that very night in Max's room a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through a night and a day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still and tame them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. and made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely, and he wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. And all around, from far away, across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So, he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things said, oh no, please don't go. We'll eat you up, we love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roar their terrible roars and gnash their terrible teeth and roll their terrible eyes and show their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks, and through a day, and into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. Did you enjoy Where the Wild Things Are? Yeah, isn't it a great book? So wonderful. And look at how used this book is. Can you see a footprint there? <laughs> I think somebody stepped on the last page. It's well-worn and well-loved. Wonderful story. All right, my dears. Shall we do our cleanup song? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Oh. Uh, all you learn here, remember this the best. Don't hurt each other and
clean up your mess. Take a nap every day, wash before you eat whole, hands stick together, look before you cross the street. And remember the seed in the little paper cup, first the root goes down and then the plant grows up. Do you remember I told you when you heard this three times you'll be able to do it with me? Are you? Are you doing it with me yet? Well, now that we've done it three times, I'll let you know that that cleanup song is a small part called a chorus of a longer song written by my friend John McCutcheon. I'll sing the whole thing to you and I'll tell you when to come in and you can sing the chorus with me, okay? Here we go. When I was a little kid, not so long ago, I had to learn a lot of things I didn't even know. How to dress myself, tie my shoes, how to jump a rope, how to smile for a picture without looking like a dope. But of all I learned, my favorite of them all was a little poem hanging on the kindergarten wall. Here's your part, ready? Of all you learn here, remember this the best. Don't hurt each other and clean up your mess. Take a nap every day, wash before you eat, hold hands, stick together, look before you cross the street, and remember the seed in the little paper cup. First the root goes down and then the plant grows up. Well, it was first, second, third grade, fourth grade too. I had to learn a lot of things the big kids do. How to add, subtract, and multiply. Read and write and play. How to sit in that little uncomfortable death for nearly half the day. But of all I learned, of all the great and small, still my favorite was the poem on the kindergarten wall. Of all you learn here, remember this the best. Don't hurt each other and clean up your mess. Take a nap every day, wash before you eat, hold hands, stick together, look before you cross the street and remember the seed in the little paper cup. First the root goes down and then the plant grows up. Well, now I am a big kid. I look around and see an awful lot of grown-ups acting foolish as can be. I think we'd all be better off if we could all recall that little poem hanging on the kindergarten wall. Of all you learn here, remember this the best. Don't hurt each other and clean up your mess. Take a nap every day, wash before you eat, hold hands, stick together, look before you cross the street. And remember the seed in the little paper cup. First the root goes down and then the plant grows up. I heard you. Good job. Keep singing. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.